Ebony about this opportunity that she has in England. Uh, it seems like they called in some younger players, but to just, I don't know, to have players going yep. to World Cup qualifiers, you know, what sort of statement do you feel like that makes about the club? Anytime any player gets called up to represent their national team, one, obviously, is a huge honor. And then for the club to, to have that quality of players, uh, um, again, I think speaks volumes of what we're trying to do. And I think it shows that we're attracting uh, international players. So extremely happy for her, a young player, and she gains more and more experience and hopefully more confidence. And then from a club perspective, again, I, what, I, what I know is happening is then other players will talk about you know, over here. And I, I'm assuming you know, racing is going to be uh, discussed because of what we're building. On the club side back here, uh, I know you talked a lot about energy and pressing, things yep. like that. How have you seen them react this week to what is now like the first full actual right. week compared to last week, which was obviously full of a lot of emotion? We just talked literally about that. Uh, it's a great question because I brought that up to them that, you know, it's great and we understand it was awesome. And I want them to understand how that also helped us get the result. You know, look, we always want three points. But that's what I just told them, like, you know, we, that has to be the minimum, that the emotion we bring, the energy we bring, that's just a starting point. And I know we have more soccer in us. I know we have uh, better moments ahead of us. And, you know, I still the minimum now is we got to start getting three points. They have high expectations, which is great. Um, so I, I thought it set a really good parameter for where we need to be, and now we make sure we need to continue to grow on it. Going back to Orlando, that was another one of those 1-1 one -one games where racing scored first. There was an equalizer similar to last Saturday. Correct. That's something you all talked about, of, of, you know, not having letdowns? Or, or yeah, I, I think it's... Um, you know, I, I think as we grow as a team, it's it's recognizing those moments of not, all right, we're up and let's just sit here. Let's get it's more of changing the mindset. Let's get the second, uh, and I want them to think more of that way versus, oh my gosh, we're up, let's protect it. I think you know if we get them to the mindset of let's get the second goal. Once we start flipping that, yeah, I think you'll see obviously confidence will build. Um, but it, it, it's I think it's one of the toughest parts. You know when you're. You're a new, again, new franchise, a lot of new players. Now with the experience we have, and that's some of the conversations they're having, which I love is without us coaches, as players, they're, they're talking about that is, hey, we need to get the second goal. We need to get three points. I know you, you said repeatedly this is about them and not you, but you've been in this academy game where I assume you're making a lot of decisions on the fly and not getting to see a lot of film and things. Has that been nice to actually get video of an opponent <laughs> Um, you know what, honestly, I, I've, I've watched a lot of NWSL, one, because of racing, uh, two, my daughters. Um, so I have a pretty good familiarity, to your point, like to really study it. Yeah, it's been great. Staff's been great, um, feeding me information, the, the process is great. Um, so absolutely, I mean, the more familiar I am, the better. That way, to your point, in game decisions, you know, I can trust my instincts, knowing what the opponent has. Um, but I, I, yeah, I, I feel comfortable. Um, yeah, I got that question a lot from friends, like, hey, once the game started, how'd you feel? I said, it's soccer. Um, I know that sounds weird, but at the end of the day, you know what I mean, as a coach, you know, we're, we're helping our players, you know, guide them through games. In game, a lot of it's, you know, making little adjustments, you know, based on what I see and what they see and getting their feedback, especially at halftime. Uh, we saw a Fox car at right back, right yes. left back uh, last match. Was that something tactical based on the opponent or something you saw in training? Both. Um, knowing what they had on their left side, um, I thought it was a good matchup for us, and then potentially again this weekend we're still, you know, looking at that. And then secondly for her, you know, I want to get the best out of Fox and, and all of our players. So how do we put them in a position to accentuate their their assets and their strengths? We all know her athletic ability to get up and down is literally world class. That that's been proven. Um, I want to see her. Obviously, she's right footed and maybe getting more use. She had a couple really good crosses in the game. Um, so from evaluation, I know she was happy with it, we're happy with it, and we continue to, to make little adjustments. And now we're you know, looking into this game, seeing, okay, do we you know, back to the left, back to the right? Um, but I was really happy for her. I thought she had a really good game against you know, arguably some of the best opponents uh, in the country. We saw Yuki back out there today. How's yeah. she doing? Doing so well. Uh, getting healthy. Um, getting, just working our way back into it. Um, her her presence, if, if anything, is huge for the team. Um, she's, she's got a, such a big smile. She loves the game, her experience. So we're looking forward to continue to work with her.